Hey everybody, just wanted to give you guys a quick breakdown on the differences between leasing and financing to help you make a better informed decision. For starters, when you lease a vehicle, you don't own the vehicle. Rather, you're actually paying to use it for a specified period of time. But once that lease ends, you can either renew the lease, buy the vehicle, or simply return it. With financing, you will own the vehicle outright once you make the final payment. However, leases can still be a pretty attractive option considering most lease payments are around 30 to 60% lower than financing vehicle for the same term. If a lease vehicle is subject to excess wear and tear, you may have to pay a penalty to the leasing company. With a finance vehicle, you don't have to worry about that. However, excess wear and tear can definitely diminish the value of that vehicle. With a lease, you're always driving a late model vehicle that's covered by the vehicle's new car warranty during its most trouble-free years. With financing a vehicle, you're on the hook for any repairs outside of that warranty period. The leased vehicle may even come with free oil changes and other scheduled maintenance. However, many manufacturers do include this on any vehicle you purchase, regardless of how it's paid for. When you lease a vehicle, you don't have to worry about fluctuations in the value or go through the hassle of having to sell it when it's time to move on. Even before you sign the lease paperwork, you'll know exactly how much the vehicle is projected to be worth at the end of that lease term. This is called a residual. If you like the vehicle enough, you can even buy out the vehicle at the end of that lease term. In the end, leasing a vehicle usually costs more than an equivalent vehicle loan because you're paying for the car when it's most rapidly depreciating. If you tend to lease one car after another, monthly payments will also go on forever and ever. By contrast, once a vehicle loan is paid off, that's it. So in the end, the cheapest way to drive is actually to buy a vehicle and keep it until it no longer makes sense to fix it. In addition, lease contracts specify a limited number of miles, and if you go over that limit, you may have to pay an over mileage penalty. And much like renting a home, if you don't like the vehicle or can't afford the payments, getting out of it could cost you dearly. It could cost you thousands in early termination fees and penalties. However, this can be true of a finance vehicle too, due to the interest on the loan especially during the first few years of ownership when the vehicle's value drops the most. Overall, there are definite advantages and disadvantages to both leasing and financing. However, if you're still unsure of exactly what route you should go with, stop in at your local Rusty or dealership and speak with a finance person and or a salesman, and they'll help you through the entire process.